Hello Aquarius, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person you're connecting with or will be connecting with. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. All right. We'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. But let's focus on you first, Aquarius, and then we'll jump over to your person. How does Aquarius currently view this relationship? Okay, I like this. We have the Three of Cups. We also have the Ten of Cups. And then we got the Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We do have the Five of Swords with the Queen of Swords. And then we also have the Five of Cups. A lot of forgiveness taking place here. There's a lot of forgiveness taking place here. You're forgiving somebody. Now, this somebody could be a family member. This somebody could be a friend. This somebody could even be a love interest. But you're forgiving somebody. You're forgiving somebody. All right. Let's look at your person. I also, I'm also getting, um, you know, a reconciliation actually happening here between you and whoever it is that you're forgiving. How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the three of cups. We also have the queen of swords. And then we have the five of swords. The bottom of the deck, we do have the nine of wands. Tell me more about the nine of wands. We have judgments, we have the queen of swords, we also have the ace of swords. So let's focus on this energy first, because I feel like they're the ones that are basically extending themselves to you, wanting to sit down and honestly have a conversation with you about some sort of big fight, argument, and or disagreement that recently transpired here between you and this person. Again, this could be a family member, this could be a friend, this could be a coworker, this could be a love interest, this could be anybody. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, there, there's somebody here that, that wants to have a conversation with you. Now, I gotta be honest, I feel like this person's kind of worried about the response slash reaction they're gonna get out of you the moment that they do extend themselves to you because they're, they're well aware that they disappointed you. They're well aware that they hurt you. They're well aware of all these things. So they don't necessarily know what to anticipate and or expect from you once they do extend themselves to you. They don't know if you're going to forgive them. They don't know if you're going to continue to distance yourself from them or not want absolutely anything to do with them. But here's just that double confirmation right there in itself that they're resurfacing back up here for you. They're really hoping for the best potential outcome to come out of this situation, which I do feel like that's exactly what's going to happen here. But they don't know what to anticipate and or expect. They don't know how you're going to respond and react to them. Um, but I do feel like for the most part, once this conversation takes place, once they actually extend themselves to you, Aquarius, I actually see you finding closure, but also finding it within your heart to forgive this person for whatever it is that uh, they may have done and or said. You know, you feel really hurt and betrayed by this person. You do. You really, really do. But you're forgiving them. You're finding in your heart to forgive this person. You are. And I do see, again, a coming together happening here between you and this person. That's nice. That's nice, Aquarius. How does this person feel? We have the Empress. We also have the Magician, and then we also have the Four of Cups. Tell me more about the Four of Cups. We have the King of Swords. We got the High Priestess, and then we also have the Nine of... See, this feels like the two of you haven't even seen one another and or spoken to one another in quite some time because this person... They're kind of realizing that you've you've changed a lot, but you've changed for the better, to be completely honest. So this kind of feels like, yeah, I mean, this kind of feels like somebody that you haven't seen or even spoken to in years, to be completely honest. Because this person's kind of taken back by you. It's like, wow, like, Aquarius really did change a whole lot. But ultimately for the better. Ultimately for the better. Okay. I kind of feel like they've kind of remained the same to be honest but you however I don't know I, I, I keep wanting to say that you've changed a lot this person's looking at you like wow like they've 
they've changed a lot. They're not the Aquarius that I used to know, you know what I mean? But in a positive way, in a very, very positive way. Yeah, I feel like you haven't seen this person or even spoken to this person in years. In years. In years. I want to entertain this Queen of Swords for whatever odd reason. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords. Wow. Like I said, you know, whatever it is that this person did to you, Aquarius, I mean, this person left you feeling really hurt really betrayed and I kind of feel like it took you a while to to get over whatever it is that this person did to you but you did but you did but you did and honestly I feel like you basically for forgive this person a long time ago I feel like you forgave this person a long time ago a long time ago you know I feel like for a while you kind of held on to a lot of anger a lot of resentment towards this person but I kind of feel like you found it within your heart to forgive this person for everything that they basically put you through and it just goes to show how strong you actually are you didn't allow this person or whatever it is that they put you through um to stop you right from giving love a chance if this is like a romantic situation um I just kind of feel like Granted, whatever it is that they did, it took a it took a massive toll on you. It was very difficult for you to kind of move past whatever it is that this person basically put you through, but you found it in your heart to forgive this person. And I kind of feel like once they do resurface back up here for you, you know, you're you're going to relay the message to this person that you have forgiven this person for everything that they basically put you through. You don't hold any sort of anger and or resentment towards them. You don't. They think that you do, but you don't. How does Aquarius feel? Which I'm really, I'm really proud of you, dude. I'm, I'm really proud of you. We have C. I feel like you drastically changed. Something drastically changed about you since this thing came to an end here between you and them. You drastically changed. I don't know if it's like your physical appearance that drastically changed, your money changed, like, or it's a combo of the both, but I keep wanting to say that you changed a lot. You've changed a lot, but for the better, and good for you. Good for you, Aquarius. Man, I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of you, Aquarius. Yeah, because I, I keep wanting to say this person's looking at you like, damn, like, they've changed a lot. They're not the Aquarius that I used to know you know what i mean they feel like you've accomplished a lot for yourself again i feel like they're like nothing's really drastically changed with them to be honest but yeah 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 i'm proud of you aquarius so what's gonna happen uh what actions okay we have the king of pentacles. We got the two of pentacles. And then we also have the fool. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. What actions will this person take towards Aquarius? I'm moving forward. We have the death card. We got the four of wands, and then we also have the uh, justice card. Before, before I say what I'm about to say in reference to this person, I need to look at you first. Tell me, okay? So we have the six of swords, four of cups, knight of pentacles. Okay. If this is like, um, if this is an ex of yours that's resurfacing back up here for you. With the Justice card to the Four of Wands to the Death card being out here, this could definitely insinuate that this person might want to, like, get back together with you. I don't see that happening, okay? Uh, I really don't. I almost want to say they don't have a chance in hell with you. I hate to put it that way, but that's just, like, the first thing that I got the moment I started pulling for you. Um, here's the thing. I feel like you forgive this person for everything that they basically put you through. But that doesn't necessarily mean that 
you know, you want to get back together with them. It, it doesn't mean any of those things, okay? They might interpret it in that way that, oh, like, well, shit, since Aquarius is forgiving me, well, this must mean I have a chance with Aquarius. No, it doesn't mean none of that. It means that you found it within your heart to forgive this person for everything that they basically put you through and put it behind you. That's what it means. It doesn't mean that this is an opportunity for them to wiggle their way back into your life. It doesn't mean those things, okay? Um, I gotta be honest, I don't feel like they have a chance in hell with you, okay? If you want to say that, like, yes, granted, you forgive this person for everything that they basically put you through, but revisiting this connection with this person is not something that you're willing to do. It's not something that you're willing to do, okay? For some of you, you could even be currently uh, involved with somebody already because I am kind of getting that for the vast majority of you. Uh, so that could also be contributing, you know, as to why this person doesn't have a chance in hell with you. Um, for those of you who are not romantically involved with someone just yet, you know, it's still that overall energy of you forgiving this person for whatever it is that they put you through but not having any sort of intentions of revisiting this connection you know uh you much rather take your chances on someone else than to revisit this connection here with this person in particular um also too for some of you you could even be meeting someone new that you're very compatible to now let's do this shall we we have the king of wands we got the king of cups nine of swords three of swords two of swords five of swords because you're forgiving this person for whatever it is that they put you through in a weird way, they think in their mind that, okay, that means that I still have a chance with Aquarius all over again. No, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that, okay? And this is them kind of realizing it does not mean that. Um, I don't see you getting back together with this person. I don't. I really, really don't, Aquarius. Um, here's the thing. Um... There's a lot of regret coming up to the surface for this person, which is what we see here, okay? Had they done things the right way when they had that opportunity with you, none of this shit would have even happened, okay? They still would have been with you. You guys would have been great. Unfortunately, they did what they did, and they're going to have to deal with the consequences of that, which sucks for them because this, this, this creams nothing but regret coming from this person i shouldn't have treated aquarius like that i should have taken them seriously you know things like that and the thing is is that they're missing out on a really really good opportunity with a really really good person and to be completely honest it, it, it kind of looks like the vast majority of you might already be involved with someone else so that's a whole nother pill that this person is going to have to sit there and swallow and that in itself is painful you know what I mean? But I don't know. I, I just, I feel like they, I don't know, like they have a lot of regret, a lot of remorse when it comes down to like the way that they were with you and they wish they would have done things differently. They wish they would have taken you seriously. You know, they wish they would have done a lot of things, but we all know we can't go back into time and change absolutely anything. All we can honestly do is just keep moving forward and not make the same mistakes right right um but yeah a lot of stuff coming up to the surface for this one over here a lot of regret a lot of regret a lot of regret but this is also reality sinking in that just because you forgive them doesn't necessarily mean that that's an opportunity for them to get back together with you because it looks like they just don't have a chance in hell with you it's just never gonna happen you know, you forgive them for everything that they put you through, but going back to the same person that caused this amount of suffering onto you, that's just not something that you're willing to do. And that's something that this person's going to have to accept. You still forgive them, though. Any advice for Aquarius? All right. We have worth waiting for, and then we also have this could be the one. So going back to this king and queen of pentacles pair that I'm basically seeing here, and we're not talking about the human to the right of me, okay? You know, for some of you, you currently find yourself involved with someone already the moment this one over here decides to resurface back up here for you. It's encouraging you to hold on to a good thing because that's exactly what you have, 
hold on to that relationship that you share with this person um, because this is obviously somebody worth holding on to all right um, here's also that double confirmation that you will be hearing from this person from your past um, basically what they want is is your forgiveness basically what they want is to get back together all over again and do things the right way you know something that they didn't necessarily do when they were involved with you um unfortunately for them i, I just kind of feel like it's a little too late for all of that especially because for one a lot of you find yourself already involved with someone and then well for two even if you weren't involved with someone getting back together with this person that caused this amount of pain onto you is not something that you're willing to do because you had to fight through health just to get over everything that they basically put you through and i don't feel like you even trust being with someone who did all of this to you all over again you know what i mean so I am proud that you forgave this person for everything that they basically put you through. It's really nice to see that you're doing very well for yourself. You're surrounding yourself with all the right people. You're focusing on the things that you need to focus on. And a lot of you currently find yourself romantically involved with somebody who is so worth holding on to. Um, so you have a lot of good things going for you right now, Aquarius. And I think I noticed that the phone decided to cut off. But as I was saying, um, you know, I am proud that you're finding it within your heart to forgive this person and just move forward and move on with your life like i said you have a lot of things going for yourself right now unfortunately for this person they're just gonna have to accept the fact that they really did ruin a really good thing slash opportunity because they just couldn't really um you know get their act together and i also feel like this person really didn't take you seriously on top of that you know so you live and you learn right you live and you learn um so yeah, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below. Good luck to you, Aquarius, moving forward. I'm really, really proud of you, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.